Simon Says Welcome. This is Simon Says. I'm your host, Simon Oma. Going to just be a little place to chat about whatever, uh, being the ultimate supreme leader. No, oh, that's a lie. I'm actually just going to chat about, I guess, like myself and my feelings and well, there may be a lot of Rampa related things in this uh, video, but if you want to call me Supreme Leader Simon, I guess that wouldn't necessarily be a lie. So, uh, spoilers uh, abound when I do start talking about Danganronpa. Um, but to start with, I'm going to talk more about a bit of the holidays. I hope everyone had a really good holiday. I mean, I know I sure did. <laughs> Got an amazing gift that's really helped boost my confidence. Um, giving me some great advice. <laughs> um, I'd like to give a big shout out and thank you to voice actor Derek Stephen Prince, who made a cameo video for me as a gift. <laughs> Very very good advice. It was <laughs> it was great hearing him speak to me as Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader from Danganronpa V Free, um, who's my favorite character, and the game being very special to me. It was also great to get some of his own personal advice to uh, just hear what he had to say and give me a huge boost in. Uh, energy, mood, confidence. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing really well. <laughs> uh, it's also some pretty funny things in that video. <laughs> it's great to, great to listen to. I uh, take a lot of stock in voice actors I don't see very well. Um, I pick out voices very easily, like they just like come naturally to me hearing like pitch and tone and ah, oh, it's so good when I recognize an actor and just hearing an actor actually talk to me that was so cool <laughs> um so yes huge thank you to to Mr. Prince for for doing that for me as a gift <laughs> um so yeah Danganronpa um Specifically V Free, Kokichi, I mean the whole series as well. Very, very special to me. Um the series as a whole has been like kinda helping me in like personal journey, growth, um uh figuring out like identity, uh knowing like you know, kind of how I am is okay, <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, I guess I'll break it down a little bit more. Um, I would go into Danganronpa 1, but since I'm playing that on this channel, I don't want to go too much into spoilers about that just yet. Um, I, I'll talk about, I'll probably talk about it a bit more in the Let's Play when we get to that point. <laughs> Though Chihiro uh, Fujisaki is my favorite character in that one and has been helpful to me in some regards since I find myself quite a bit like her, like uh, not being as confident or strong and like crying all the time, <laughs> um, which is something that just like sort of happens with how I'm with how I'm more like autistic and stuff. Um, so there's that. That's really all I'll say about Chihiro for now. Um, so probably not too much spoilers there. Um, at least not yet. Uh, Danganronpa 2, well, I relate more to Nagito in that one, who's my favorite character there. Uh, Nagito being like 
super, super crazy and just, like, misunderstood by everyone and, like, probably judged poorly for how he is with his mental illnesses. It just, you know, kind of, like, feels more, like, relatable and just kind of helps me, like, see, like, understand more about myself a little bit and that, uh, you know, it's hard to get people to, like, understand you, especially, like, when you're different and aren't necessarily, um, what's the word, um, like, you know, like, in the norm or, uh, or exactly, like, healthy, like, been pretty, like, unhealthy, depressed for a long time, um, and it's just more like, you know, seeing kind of more myself in, like, a character like that, um, and that, like, it's okay, you know, things can get better, though, with Nagato, unfortunately, that's not exactly the case, but he's a great character, I really like the crazies, and it's so fun to see, like, character arcs like that, and Danganronpa 2 is kind of like, at first, like, the game that I liked the most, because I was, um, finding it helping me understand myself a bit better, um, when I first got into that one, um, so, yeah, um, I guess now for, like, the big one, (laughs) V3, um, again, I'm just going to say major, major spoiler warnings <laughs> for V3. Um, uh, so yeah, Kokichi, favorite character. He's <laughs> he's very enjoyable and entertaining. Uh, you know, he's a liar. <laughs> um, but he's a liar. He, like, doesn't show his true self, like, to anybody, but, you know, sometimes it seems like his emotions come through a little bit, like, when he says he's lying, not necessarily sure he is. (laughs) Um, but how he, you know, like, hides his true self and only presents what he wants people to see is something that I've found myself doing a lot, um, being autistic and having trouble, like, expressing myself, um, I do lie to, I do lie a lot and get away with it, (laughs) so it's just easier, um, but I also, like, really admire his confidence and just, like, being able to be whoever he wants, which is awesome, (laughs) um, And then there's also Shuichi, who's another one of my favorites, and my favorite, uh, my favorite out of the protagonist, because he's just so sweet and innocent at first, he's very socially awkward, has trouble talking to everybody, looks down all the time, and uses his hat to hide his face, so, um, so people can't necessarily see, like, his emotions, facial expressions, and such. Um, but then as the game goes on, he gets more open and confident. He removes his hat and starts, like, interacting with everyone more and taking, like, more of a, uh, a, um, more of, like, a leading role as it, the game goes on with, like, the support of his friends and everything. It's just, oh, it's so good to see how he grows. (laughs) And his interactions with Kukichi are fun, too. (laughs) Um, But then, like, the end of the game. (laughs) Again, I'm going to say major, major spoiler warnings. If you don't want to hear how the game ends, you might want to... um, uh, skip ahead or stop watching. I don't know, um, where exactly I'll start 
talking about um not spoiler territory again um so yeah um the end of Danganronpa well <laughs> uh turns out to be like a huge um uh, you know live um uh, reality show of uh people killing each other and the say like Dongan Rampa's not real and fiction and all that. It's very like fourth wall meta and it's at first I was not a huge fan of it. Well, the the ending and how they chose to end it. But I've played all the games like a lot over and over since my first introduction to it, and I'm more good with the ending now. Like, um, the part where Shuichi mentions, um, like, when they're trying to, like, stop the game, and Shuichi mentions to the mastermind that, well, like, asking them, like, that they don't they don't believe in like the power of fiction and it's just like the story of like truth and lies fiction reality what's real what isn't um um that fiction can like impact reality and uh, Sorry, getting a little emotional. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did say I cry a lot, like Chihiro. I meant that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a part where Shuichi says that if they could just change one life, then the killings and their suffering and like everything they've been through would have like mattered and made a difference and and that line like really struck home for me and helped me like actually like enjoy the ending of the game and uh, and probably find it to be the best one because it, oh boy, it really affected me like this, uh, uh, this last time I played it this past fall, um, as, well, these games really have changed my life and they've helped me come to terms a bit with um, gender identity of being transgender um, uh, getting to know more myself better like self-discovery um, just being able to talk to people more and not being so like scared or nervous or anxious <laughs> um, Um, yeah, very powerful stuff. <laughs> um, and it's because of these games I can, like, feel better about myself and, <laughs> um, especially, like, the characters, the stories, um, it just really resonate with me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, like, with Kokichi... Part of the reason he's my favorite is that, like, him, you know, like, I don't know if he, like, been living in my whole life with not being, like, or not feeling like the gender I was at birth kind of thing. Um, and in this, uh, Dungeons and Dragons character I've made recently that was very much based on Kokichi and inspired by him, I felt more like in being that, I could be more 
how myself that I felt, like my true self that I felt, and be more real instead of the lie, which is actually kind of ironic coming from a character who just lies all the time. <laughs> um, but in doing that, I was able to finally be able to like be more of a, a male around like my friends and stuff and go on this journey of just being who I want to be. And it's just been so good and eye-opening and powerful and I feel so much better about myself. So yes, uh, thank you for that. I, I really just love Kokichi and Danganronpa V Free and these games and oh man, so good. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for that. Uh allowing me to talk more about into why these games are so special. Um Also, being able to find more of a home in it, and like, a home in some of the other fans, especially over at, um, Derek Stephen Prince's, like, Twitch and Discord, it's been like, oh, such a, such a mood lifter, just been like, really happy with this, this holiday, um, hearing from him, getting to know everybody over there. Uh, I just can't thank everyone enough. <laughs> um, in some words that he gave me, I'm going to sign this off in saying that, like, you only get, like, one day. Um, one, like, this day, I guess, um, as I'm recording this, December 27th, 2023, um, and you only get one of that particular day to make it the best day that you can. <laughs> um, so it's the only chance that you have to make it a great day, and just be the best that you can. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys liked this uh, little bit of a chat about how I've been feeling in Danganronpa. Um, if you enjoyed the Simon Says segment, um, we all do another one. So yeah, just uh, I hope everyone's doing as well as I am these days. And, you know, ha have a great day and rest of the holidays. And... I'll see you again next time. Bye.